Welcome to MongoDB Live Migration, the fastest way to get started with MongoDB on AWS. What is Live Migration? Live Migration is a free service that we host and operate to make it simple to migrate your database to MongoDB Atlas. This service works by making an initial copy of the data from your source database and watching for any changes so that it stays in sync until you are ready to cut over. During this process, your application can continue to read and write from your source database. When you're ready, change the connection string from your application from your source database to the Atlas cluster, and the migration is complete. To begin, step one, let's verify that your source cluster is running MongoDB version 2.6 or greater and is configured in a replica set, not a standalone. Next, Launch your target cluster and be sure to select an M10 sized instance or greater so that you have access to the live migration service. Step three, whitelist the Atlas live migration service IP addresses for your source cluster. Now you can start the live migration service. You'll need to validate the credentials with the live migration service from Atlas. Now you can begin to perform the live migration. Once complete, select Start Cutover, and your migration is complete. You can get started today on the AWS Marketplace. Simply search for MongoDB Atlas for AWS. Let's demonstrate the live migration service by looking at a three-node MongoDB cluster currently running in AWS's EC2 environment. We'll start by looking at the data in the primary. We'll take a look at the documents in the personnel database. In the data collection, here's the data that we'll be migrating from our source cluster to our MongoDB Atlas cluster. To get started, I'll create a new account on cloud.mongodb.com. I'll select AWS as the cloud provider and region. Because I'm in the Northeast, I'll select North Virginia. And for the cluster tier, I'll choose the M10 sized instance. Be sure to choose M10 sized instances or greater so that you have access to the live migration service. From here, I'll keep all of the rest of the defaults pretty much the same. Once I'm ready, I'll click Create Cluster. From there, you should be able to see something like this. Now we can begin our live migration. First, let's create IP whitelist entries so that we can access our database from our current IP address. We'll create MongoDB users so that we can authenticate. Then we can begin the live migration service by clicking the ellipsis and selecting migrate data to this instance. Once we're ready, we'll grab the host name from the AWS EC2 console. I'm currently running MongoDB on port 27017. I'll put in my credentials, and I'll click the Validate button so that we can validate our connection between the live migration service and our cluster. Next, I'll, I'll select Start Migration. This process should take several minutes to several hours, depending on the amount of data that you have in your cluster. Once complete, I can select Start Cutover. This will complete the migration process. 